We've been learning the subtle art of eye contact with <laughs> selfie cameras. It takes practice. This is my second take now. If I miss that's, it, I'm gonna work on it. That's not how you start the video. Hey everybody, Hi. we wanted to let you know we finally have the chance to screen the minds of men. We meant to do it a long time ago. It's been a busy year, a lot of things going on, a lot of things in our personal life. And we went um, through a lot after putting out this movie and a lot of stuff got put on hold. There were a lot of interviews we didn't get to do. And, and, and it was just a long three years making it anyway. But the film is out there, it's been seen a lot, but it's never been seen as it was intended in a theater at a great screen. And now you've got the chance to join us. We have a wonderful show that I hope you're going to enjoy tonight. Here in the Austin area at the Lake Line Draft House, yeah. one of the best theaters around. It's got a big giant screen, and great sound, and food and drinks to enjoy it. And we, we know had to our, you know. do it on a Tuesday though because we couldn't afford anything else, and that's with an independent filmmaker discount. So. We hope you guys will still be able to come even though it's not on a weekend or a Saturday night. We just, there's no way to afford that. And we didn't want to have to charge people some ridiculous amount to just be able to come watch this film with us. We really just want to share it with people in real life. We're going to have oh, all kinds of things. Surprises, prizes, games, movies, cartoons. Everything else is done on the internet these days. And I think people are starting to forget. And like you mentioned, all the censorship that's been going on. People forget, we don't live on the internet, we live in the real world, so. We do, and you know, obviously we know our film is long, so we've got an intermission built intermission. in, but. So we, people can go to the bathroom. <laughs> it's also a film that is meant to be discussed, and the conversation yeah. is meant to continue, and the research is meant to continue, so hopefully, even though, you know, there's only a little bit of time for Q&A, hopefully we can cover some of that ground, and and kind of prompt things to move forward from there. That thing you do when you get on a plane and fly to New York so you can climb through the tunnels of an old psychiatric center. More than anything, we'd love to shake your hand and, and yeah, say hello and Yeah, and meet that. people and say hi and say, yes, we, we exist, we're real human beings. We, we don't just live in a closet somewhere editing videos all of our entire lives like weird little troll people. We've been those people who live under a rock. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to not be those people. I didn't realize I wanna, who was president. I, I don't. <laughs> You didn't? <laughs> Guests, big name stars. Look, so I got my Make Orwell Fiction Again shirt. So we're gonna go out and hang up some posters for the screening. Yeah, this is kinda hard to do one-handed, you're right. Wow, uh, this tape's not really working well. No, that tape but... sucks. But on a side note, Willie Nelson for president. And look, it's right next to the clown from It, which is also a very scary movie. So if you're in the Austin area on July 2nd, you can come see our screening of The Minds of Men. But sadly, you've already missed Goat and Your Mom. What do you think? I think it's good. Aaron's got his nondescript, nondescript blue shirt. It is a subtle a, but important a, an, message. An important statement. Called You Don't Own Me, <laughs> I Don't Wear Your Brand. Okay. okay. <laughs> and later on, if everyone is good, now only if everyone is good, everyone, everyone. <laughs> no, seriously, if everyone is good, then later on we're all going to go out for a snack. <laughs> okay, right. so we're going to go hang up some posters in the Austin area, but we hope people will come. Uh, you can look at TrueStreamMedia.com. We've got a story up right now with the link where you can go to buy tickets through RSVPFI. I think it's called RSVPFI. But the link is on our YouTube channel. There's a post pinned at the top of our Twitter account at TrueStream News. We've got a, we even put a post on Facebook. As much as I absolutely hate Facebook, on the TrueStream Media page at the top, pinned to the top of the Facebook TrueStream Media page. And so the link is out there for you to go buy the tickets because I don't know how well we'll do selling tickets at the door the day of. We've only got 30 minutes uh, before the movie starts and people have got to get sat down. And we're going to bring DVDs so we can sign those. We're going to sell them for really cheap to anyone who shows up just as a thank you for coming. And uh, we just want to meet people and say hi and share this movie with you guys because it really was hard and it took almost everything we had. We almost didn't make it through making this movie. I think it's okay to say that to people, isn't it? No. I mean, we almost didn't make it. I mean, there were days when one or the other or both of us just said, 
screw this, I'm done, I'm leaving, and walked out. I mean, it was it was a lot of work. No driver's to... license unless you're being accused of a crime and unless we're being detained on suspicion of a crime. Nope. I mean, that's the Fourth Amendment. Saying that, but just in order for us to know to identify you. I want you guys uh, to study your Bill of Rights, man. It's very important. We put our all into it in many Everything. ways. I mean, yeah. literally blood, sweat, and tears, and, and metaphorically. And That's one of the things that sticks in my craw about everything that's going on with censorship and what they claim is disinformation. And with the way they're trying to lump everyone together into one grand category and discriminating against everybody, because we're getting caught up in that. We're not the only ones. We haven't been hit as hard as some people, but we researched so hard in this film. We tried to document everything. We made a legitimate attempt to try to understand what we were talking about. We researched, you know, we went to the library for hundreds of books. We cited our sources in the credits and still, you know, platforms like YouTube and Facebook get to just like cast this wide net and single-handedly sweep everyone away. Well, I can't speak for everyone else, but we researched the hell out of this film. We put our all into it. We did our very best to document what we're talking about and not talk out of our ass. So how many people on the other side of that issue can say that for what they're doing? This is about free expression. If you can't do it online, we're damn sure gonna do it in the streets. So it would be nice to be able to share that with you all in Austin. And if this goes really well and people come and they enjoy doing it, we've already got some ideas and some estimates from other independent theaters around the country. Uh, somebody from Portland got back to us with a really good location. And Denver possibly is one we're looking into, although no one's gotten back to us on that yet. So we've got some other options around the country that we want to try and do this in if the Austin one goes well. So we're hoping people come out and share this with us. It's gonna be Tuesday, July 2nd. Doors at 5.30, the film's gonna start at six after we briefly introduce it. Then we're gonna have a 10 minute intermission. What are we going to have today? Between parts two and three, so people can go to the bathroom since we obviously realized we made a movie. As long as The Godfather. I can't remember the last time that you invited me to your house for a cup of coffee. And then after it's over, we'll have a short Q&A and a table set up outside where we can Andy Kaufman's sign Andy got DVD. milk and cookies. No, no, he does. He's, no, he doesn't. Sorry. That's what I heard. We're going to have milk and cookies. Don't overpromise. It's already a four-hour movie. I think we're going to give them enough uh, things to do, so. Please. We really hope to see you guys there. Yeah. Yeah. Come on out, y'all. <laughs> oh, my God, you said that.